Okay, so today we are working on a 4610 Ford tractor, which is a New Holland. And um, what we're having issues with is that the uh, power steering fluid is leaking into the block, which is it's creating oil inside the uh, block system. So their oil level is rising. So we're going to be pulling this guy out of here to rebuild it real simple easy job to do it's a older model but fairly simple I'll show you step by step on how to do it I see most videos that they just kind of go over things with you I'll show you exactly how to do this <clears throat> okay so some designs are a little bit different um, sometimes they don't have this uh, little cooler right here but unfortunately ours does have that cool it down because we do pull a lot of heavy stuff um, fairly simple takes a 10 millimeter socket to remove this uh, bolt up out of here which it mounts on to right here and it holds on to this cooler that mounts on to right there so that's step two. Oh. And just to let you know, this is a 7-8 seven, eight, seven, eight to remove this guy and this guy as well. So, this guy right here takes a 3 quarters to back up with that 7 eighths that connects to that cooler. This one takes 11 sixteenths. So like I said, y'all might have different fittings. But, um, as we go, we're going to be disconnecting these bolts right here, and it should allow this pump to slide right on back. So, that's the next step. So, after removing, which this is going to be a 14 millimeter, both of these, this is a 13. After removing that, you grab this guy right here. And you just uh, kind of slide her on out. It's, it's caught up on there. But you slide her on out. And uh, there's a piece you're going to be rebuilding right now. Gonna let that oil drain out. Okay. This is the next step. This, to, this is a three quarters. So to take this guy off but this guy is a lock for that. That way it's where it doesn't spin off or anything like that. It's uh, tapered right here, so pretty much fits right there, perfect. Can't miss it. There is the snap ring. You gotta remove out of there. It's the front seal. That's what's causing it to leak with inside the block itself. But got this deal cleaned up and I'm about to take it completely apart. The only thing you're going to need is just a little uh, pulley extractor, um, of course, like I said, three quarters, and a five-eighths, of course, for that. Okay, so this is the piece I just took off from the inside of the pump. I did mark it. It's got some uh, oil rings. It goes in the inside, which is right here, and they go on the inside, and you're able to remove this up out of here. After you get everything else, replace this other oil ring. Of course, that's your filter for the inside. Um, other than that, you just go step by step. Okay, so these are all the components taken apart. So you notice you got seals here, all on the inside. And then you got your two outer seals. There's one on the inside, inside the inside. And then there goes another seal, and this guy's seal, of course, show around here, filter, your little twin gears, uh, your main gear. So other than that, we're about to take this puppy apart and install all these new uh, seals that I got from uh, Equipment Depot. So, 
and that should be taking care of the job okay on this seal you have to put it on opposite ends that way to where oil doesn't go in to the pump and oil doesn't come out so it has to be opposite okay so you pretty much do reverse back of what you did um, twists good nice and tight now because these seals are all brand new other than that everything's all put back together got a brand new filter on the inside other than that this puppy's ready to go back together and you should have no more leaks going into the engine so if you ever discover that your oil's rising therefore you go check this guy and nine times out of ten this may be your issue thank you for watching and have a good day